Hey guys, uh, this is Golf Mark 7 and I'm going to show you how to code the lane assist. So, we need a couple of things. First of all, we need Golf Mark 7. Second of all, it needs to be equipped with the proper camera. I'm not talking about the radar over here. This is for the cruise control. I'm talking about the camera on the windscreen, which is right here. If you have the camera in the rear view mirror base inside the vehicle, this is not good for you. You need this one. This is for lane assist, traffic uh, sign recognition, uh, dynamic light assist, uh, and a couple more things in modern vehicles. So, uh, we have our Golf, we have the proper camera, we have OBD11, which is already connected to the vehicle. I have the dongle plugged in over here to the OBD2 port and I have my notes. We are going to perform coding and adaptation changes in four modules. First of all, we need to change the coding of the camera so it sends the data about the lane position. Second uh, thing is the steering wheel, which needs to react to this position, so it, it needs to intervene with, when the vehicle is um, close, to the, close to the lines. Third thing is the instrument cluster. We want to see the information about the lane, and we wanted to send the information about the indicators and so on. And fourth module is the infotainment system, which will have some options over here about the lane assist feature. So let's get to it. Let's connect with the vehicle and let's start with the camera. So I'm going to press here to list all the modules in the vehicle, scroll all the way down to module A5, which is the camera, and I'm going to enter long coding. And over here we have the coding HCA, which is for um, heading control assist, I believe. It's not coded, so let's change it to coded. In my um, uh, camera, it's address uh, byte zero bit zero. Okay, so let's go back. And over here we can review some adaptation channels like the HCA on state menu. So we can select if the feature should be uh, on or off uh, via the menu. We also have warning intensity. Let's set it to strong. It's okay. And let's um, look for BAP personalization personal person personalization it's in german over here but i will uh, just say it in english it's also active so we don't have to change here anything and we can also adjust the point of intervention point of intervention now uh, intervention moment it's called over here and we can select um, one of two options early or late early this means that the vehicle will stay in the middle of the lane and um, uh, this has its ups and downs. So first of all, the vehicle will not ping pong between those lines, but if you keep your hands on the wheel and you want to drive like, like usual, you will just feel this uh, strong um, counter steer from the steering wheel when you are reaching one of the lines. So you will be constantly corrected by the vehicle. But if you switch it to late, well, there's no counter steer. It's not as obvious as um, uh, with the other setting. But if you let go the steering wheel, the vehicle will start to ping pong between those lines. So that's up to you. You can select early or late or maybe even early settings via menu. So you will have additional option over here on the infotainment display. So I will leave it like this. Now back to the list of modules, we are looking for module 44, which is steering assistance. And over here, once again, we are going to enter long coding. And in long coding, we want to enable lane assistant. Activate, slide to right. Uh, code is 19249. It was coded, so right now the camera and the steering wheel, the um, the steering wheel are talking to each other. So that's um, that's great. Back to the list of modules. Go to module 17, which is instrument cluster. Once again, long coding. And over here we are looking for uh, we are looking for lane assistant. So let's enable it. It's installed, and also that the lane assistant. Um, assistance communication 
is over BAP. This is a type of communication between modules in vehicles. So those two things needs to be coded. Okay. I can already see that I have this indicator over here, which tell which tells me that the lane assist is um, coded into the instrument cluster. Once again, on the list of all modules, go to module 5F multimedia system. Now select adaptation. Let's go to B A P car function list BAP generation two, and over here we're looking for heading control assistant, and it needs to be activated. So let's select activate, and the data bus message bus needs to be set to data bus extended. It's set already. So let's save it. Now back. Adaptation channel called car function adaptations gen 2 and over here we are looking for departure Menu menu display link departure departure warning activate and Warning over threshold high activate slide to right That's it disconnect from the vehicle and press and hold over here for about 10 seconds so the unit will reboot and after it reboots we should be able to use the new function so let's give it a few seconds i'm disconnected so i can remove my phone and in a, in a second we will see if the new option is actually available on over here on the display what are the new options and we will try to test drive the vehicle okay so let's go to settings let's go to driver assistance and scroll down lane assist active adaptive and vibration even the vibration option is here and you can also notice that um, when i press the active when I disable it, the indicator over here disappears and it reappears. Right now it's orange because we are not on the road, we don't have lines, we are not at the required speed. But when we are, when the conditions are right, we should see a green indicator over here. This means that the lane assist is active and it's helping us, it's working. So we can let go the steering wheel for a couple of seconds. Also, when you press this button over here at the, at the end of the left stalk, you, sh you have the lane assist option over here in the assist systems menu. Okay, so maybe let's start the car and let's take it for a quick drive. Okay, so right now I'm traveling at about 65 kilometers an hour, which is the minimum speed for this feature to be working. You can see that the indicator is green and those two lines are bold because uh, um, I have lines or on two sides and when I release the steering wheel I believe the vehicle will just keep itself on the lane of course I'm a little bit nervous or nervous right now but you can see that the steering wheel is slightly adjusted automatically to keep me on the um, correct lane and right now I will turn on the active cruise control so we have even more automatization over here and when I release the steering wheel, let's see how long it takes for the system to to start to nag me. A couple seconds for the for the message and the sound that reminds me to keep my hands on the steering wheel. And if I don't touch the steering wheel, I believe the vehicle will just disable the function. In three, two, one, and now you can see the indicator was orange for a brief second um, because this feature will not work if you don't keep your hands on the steering wheel. This is not autopilot. This is just an assistant system that should help you to keep your vehicle on the on the 
proper lane. Okay, so in the description below this video you will find more details about coding and adaptations that I've made in this procedure. Keep in mind that this is a 2016 vehicle. If you have older vehicle, the adaptations in the infotainment system might be a little bit different. If you have newer vehicle, facelift vehicle, you might have a different camera in the windscreen and the coding over there might be a little bit different. So, um, that's it for today. Give me thumbs up if you like this simple video and see you soon.